everyone, I'm Vanessa and today I'm here to do my February wrap up. month of February my TBR was from my library challenge that I did which was super fun if you want to watch it you can go check it out I'll leave it linked down below basically I just wanted to challenge myself and other people to just go to the library and check out one book from every section of the library library so many words this video with the BR letter combination which I'm really bad at saying that I'm not good at that sound it's not the sound for my mouth so that was my TBR for the month I didn't get to everything there were a couple things that I didn't get to read but I mean that was to be expected because I checked out like 14 different things. But the first thing that I did read was Lady Windermere's Lover by Miranda Neville. This was from the romance section which I've never really read any just straight up romances like this and I was really pleasantly surprised. This book was really really good. The synopsis of this book sounds like the most dramatic and ridiculous thing you've ever heard of. Basically it is about this woman Cynthia who gets married to an earl but the earl Damien he did not want to marry her. He basically had to marry her because he needed her dowry and her family's money to get back his mother's estate which he lost gambling so he totally didn't even want to marry her and he basically runs away as soon as possible and gets sent on like an assignment in a different country for his job or whatever and leaves her like alone for a year and during that year um, she strikes up a romance with his former best friend who is now his enemy and then Damien comes home and realizes that his wife is actually pretty freaking cool and he realizes that he would actually like to have a relationship relationship with her but it might be too late because she's like going around with his former best friend but it was also actually really really good the characters were really endearing and lovable and their interactions and their relationships were really cool it was fun and I got emotionally invested and if other romance books are like this then I am definitely gonna be trying some more the next book that I read was lock every door by Riley Sager which was kind of fun it's just like a thriller mystery type thing it's about this girl who gets an apartment sitting job in this really old like gothic apartment apartment building that only celebrities and like the elite class live in and weird stuff starts going on so it was fun but I also didn't really like it very much. I didn't like the story or the characters or any of the mystery unfolding. I was pretty annoyed by it actually. I have like a rant review on it. If you're interested in more of my thoughts on this book I will leave that linked down below. The next thing that I read was what I got from the nonfiction section and that was this travel guide on Germany. I mean I flipped through it. I obviously didn't read it word for word. Jesse and I are planning a trip to Germany hopefully this winter and I'm really really excited so I just got this so that we could look through it and it was actually really helpful. They have so much good information in here. It's not just like oh these are cool places in Germany. It has all kinds of cool resources like if you're into castles here's like a whole chapter on what kind of road trip path you should take to look at all the castles it has like a five-day itinerary versus like a two-day itinerary it has this little like weather map to show you what the weather is like in different seasons in Germany it has estimated prices for like public transportation and restaurants and like hotels and even like museum passes and stuff like that it gives actually a lot of like historical and political information about different areas and kind of like what what the vibe is in those areas especially they also have for every city a little section on how LGBTQ friendly that city is. Another thing that I realized I really appreciated about this book after I started checking out other travel books is that this one has a ton of pictures. Like almost every page has pictures on it, every location that they talk about has pictures, and some travel books are not like that. It's just word, like, oh, come visit this town, and then just words talking about the town. And to me, that's not really helpful. I'm a very visual person. So for me, this book, The Lonely Planet, Best of Germany 2019, is the most helpful travel book that I've ever looked at. <laughs> the next thing that I read was from our biography section, and I just got a little kid's book because I didn't want to overload myself, but this is just the Who Was Jacqueline Kennedy. It has like illustrations and just like a general biography of Jackie Kennedy. Obviously it is for kids and it is very short so it's just very general. It doesn't go in depth about any topic. This is a really good way to just get like a fast and basic just kind of general knowledge about who a person was. I think that I would definitely pick up more of these books when it comes to people that I just have like a mild curiosity about and I just want to dip my toes in and see like what they were all about. Next, from the kids section, I read a choose your own adventure book. This one is The Throne of Zeus, and I did do a couple different paths in this book. I went through it like two or three times. Um, it was less fun than I thought it would be. I feel like I remember as a kid just thinking these were the coolest and most exciting things ever, 
but alas, I am not a child anymore. So <laughs> after that, from our new section, I read Royal Holiday, which I realize now is part of a series or at least like companion novels or something like with the proposal and the wedding date. I didn't know that when I read this, but I don't think it really mattered. I still really enjoyed it and I really liked it. It is about this woman, Vivian Forrest, who her daughter gets invited to be a stylist for the Duchess for the holidays and she invites her mom to come with her to England and stay at like the royal estate with her while she styles the Duchess. And while she's there, Vivian ends up falling in love with the Queen's private secretary and basically it's just a really cute wholesome holiday romance I really enjoyed it and I feel like um, it was really cool that the main character is like an older black woman I think she's in her 50s and I just I feel like those are two perspectives that we need to read from more in general and also like people in their 50s deserve romance too like your life doesn't end when you're not 22 anymore you know I also picked up a contemporary young adult romance because I figured it's Valentine's Day might as well get all the romance in that I can this is maybe this time by Casey West and it is about this girl who works at a flower shop and of course there is a guy who is also at every single event with her because his dad does food catering it's kind of like a pride and prejudice like hate to love thing between them because they just really cannot stand each other but of course being a romance I'm sure you can guess where it goes. I really liked this. I'm always really impressed by Casey West's books. I feel like she does so well at making just like a fun and fluffy romance but making sure that it's more than that and that her characters are dealing with really important things and come out at the end of the story as better people who have grown and developed. The romance is just super fun. I hate to love tension that we're all here for but also like these two are really dealing with a lot of struggles in their personal lives like the main character has a really really bad relationship with her mom and she has a lot of resentment towards her mom and there's also a lot of tension and resentment growing between her and her best friend and the fact that like she wants to leave this tiny country town and go to New York and live like big fancy person dreams and yeah I just I really really liked it I think at this point it is safe to say I'm a Casey West fan so that was everything that I read from the library challenge there were some things that I didn't get to and I also I DNF to gingerbread I was really excited for this book because the cover is just amazing and also the synopsis just sounded really magical and whimsical and fun but unfortunately um, the writing style I just wasn't able to get into it I would like to come back to it at some point because I still want to read it I just right now I couldn't and then outside of the library challenge I also at work one day I just kind of was at the desk and I looked through a little children's picture book it was called deep in the woods by Christopher core I figured I'd mention it here in case anyone is looking for children's picture book recommendations it was really cute it was about all these animals in the woods that like build a little house and all the animals come to live in the house and then I'm also reading a canticle for Lebowitz this book was given to me by my German professor I have been in an ongoing mission for several months now to impress my German professor because I'm always reading a book in class and he's always like asking me what I'm reading and stuff like that and recently he started giving me book recommendations and I've made a point to go out and read his recommendations and then a few weeks ago he brought this book to class and asked me if I wanted to borrow it and read it it is a sci-fi book which makes me really happy because normally he's a guy that like scoffs at genre fiction and I read a lot of genre fiction and he's always making fun of me for it so the fact that he brought me a sci-fi book yeah I'm feeling really good about that um, it's about like in the future after uh, like a nuclear apocalypse just kind of how society changed and obviously evolved after that into something completely different and th they're looking back now on like artifacts that they're finding from our time and they just like they consider the weirdest things like sacred and holy and important from us and it's really interesting so yeah I'm about halfway through this book and it's definitely gonna be a priority for me to finish next month so that you know I can continue to stay on my terrifying German teachers good side and I think that is everything that I have to wrap up this month so there we are I feel like it was a really good reading month and I was really excited to kind of branch out of my comfort zone and read different types of books and I would definitely like to keep that energy up in the future so yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video I would love to hear from you in the comments please let me know what you had read this month and really love and I hope that I get to talk to you in the next one bye <music>